So in case you didn't know, that was Follow Me Back in the Sun with Amanda on the solo. So, oh my god. Um, this is sad to say, I've been kind of waiting for this moment to give her away, but now that's here, I kind of really don't want to do it. Let's just skip it. So, Amanda is a philosophy and music film major, and uh, she is the current president of BOTS, and she uh, was the former director of Clap the Maniacs, and I had the privilege of working under her as her assistant director. So, Amanda is more than just a friend, at least to me. She was a friend, she's also a mentor, or she likes to refer to me as her friend something. <laughs> <laughs> I had a lot of stuff I wanted to write down because I didn't want to forget anything. Um, so my first semester in the group, I didn't know Amanda at all, really. And so <laughs> I think we might have talked the first time at Mistletoe, which it, for those who don't know, is <laughs> is at the very end of the semester when I became director. So, not director, assistant director. Um, I'm very happy to say that I got to know her very well over the past year and a half. Um, so, uh, I have a couple like memories to show you how unique and special Amanda is. <laughs> They're very interesting. Um, so, I didn't really know anyone could talk about their dog so much. <laughs> to the point that our entire group kind of idolizes her dog. Um, <laughs> to the point she has her own language um, between Tiny and Yas and all this kind of other stuff. Um, oh my god, I'm a mess. Um, so, very few people would message you late at night on ChiChat because they don't have a Facebook for some reason. Um, just to ask why are you up so late. Um, uh, she would randomly message the group about any weird thoughts she had over the course of the day, often picking on one member of the group, being like, they're so weird or anything. Um, <laughs> she'd randomly email you a picture of an ugly chupacabra and, <laughs> and tell you how much you look like it. <laughs> Sometimes we forget that people exist in our group and then call them the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes she'll call you to the bathroom and force you to sing for her, or in other cases, call you to the bathroom and begin to bite you. <laughs> that happened once. <laughs> especially you, and then she'll like point at you and make faces at you with the entire rest of the rehearsal. <laughs> now for like less funny stuff, she has this word to her power of knowing exactly what to say whenever you need to hear it. Um, whenever you're having a bad day, she knows the exact voice to use to make you feel better and to make you feel wanted and loved at all times. She always knows exactly what to do in order to make you feel special and important. And, um, to make you realize that any time, amount of time you spent with her is never really enough time, and I really don't want to say goodbye to you, and I can't believe you're going to New York <laughs> without me. <laughs> um, so, I'm going to really miss you next year, and I'm so glad we've gotten to know you, and I love you. <laughs> She just told me to pull it all together because we have a concert to finish. <laughs>